I'm Diego Pais. I'm from Orange County, California. Train at a classic fight team in Fountain Valley under Tyler Wumbles. talking about this all week it's it's really important and it's gonna it's gonna help you guys grow you know this is all about growing and getting better I used to be a pusher when I worked for a big oil major my job was to get a bunch of people to work right Sebastian knows what the pipelines like there's no please there's no thank you it's just get the job done you know fucking go many years ago I came home from work and I went in the house and I was like, Abby, there's fucking weeds in the backyard. Where's my lunch? Where blah, 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 blah. And my wife was like, oh shit, we're not doing this. This is not gonna work for me. You don't get to come home and treat me like one of your employees. Like you just can't do that. And so I literally created rituals for myself, right? So I would, I'd be driving home from work, dealing with work all the way home. I would get home. Actually, Tyler remembers me back in those days. And um, I would get home and I would just, immediately start delegating to my family or whoever was in my house. Bop, 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 bop. And I needed to have a ritual, river rock, and then I would touch the door jam at the top when I'd walk in, and I'd remember, you're with the people that you love now. You need to be compassionate and caring and empathetic. And it's very important that you treat them different, right? So at work, it's just about getting the job done. You get paid to be here. You're here because you have to be, not because you want to be. I don't have to treat you any kind of way. You're a grown man. We're just going to get dirty and work, right? And then as soon as I got home, I got to remember that they're all there by choice. You know, my wife doesn't have to be there. She can leave. She's an attorney. She's smart. So I want to start talking about the managing the distance between the front of our gym and your car door. That distance. That's the distance that I want you guys to pay attention on. When you close your car door and you walk from your car to the front door, I want you to create a ritual for yourself. We all have girl problems, we have baby mama drama, we have boyfriend problems, we have money problems, tax problems, car problems, uh, you know, legal problems, we have all these problems. And you come in here and I can tell, I show the technique and I can see the ones that are going through shit, they're not paying attention, they're looking away, they're thinking, they're lost in space, right? So here's what I challenge you to do. When you park your car, create a ritual for yourself. When you come in here, you're present in the moment. I'll also tell you this, you deserve 20% of everything you have. So we never have a problem paying Cox or DirecTV 250 bucks a month, right? We got a couple fights, we've got the full NFL package and all that bullshit. We won't have no problem sending a $250 payment to a cable company. I'm gonna challenge you guys to do this. Take that 250 bucks and put it in a travel fund. Put in a travel fund for just for you. Say, every month I'm gonna put $250 away just for me. Bet you can't do it. Bet you won't be able to do it. But I bet you'll pay 250 bucks for cable. Promise you. It's hard to invest 20% of your money into yourself. It's fucking hard. You're like, no, I need it for this, I need it for that. I challenge you guys to prioritize 20% of your income. Now this all, this all goes back to the ritual. You spend all day Stress, stressing and thinking about other people's shit. When you come in here, pay yourself 20% of your own time and just get rid of all the other bullshit. 20%, remember that. That's it, think about it. In the grand scheme of things, 20% of your time ain't shit. What if I said you only had 20% of your time left to live? What would you do then? You know? So it's hard to pay yourself 20%, but it's fucking nuts to think about you'll give somebody 250 bucks a month to make you stupid, right? It's fucking dumb. And then you won't give yourself 20% of your time to train and feel good? I think, I think it should be even like 50% of your time. You know, like you should be able to, I mean, it's fucking nuts, dude. 
Just think about it. Think about it like that and really start to correct those things. So I want you to lose the stress between your door and my door. And when you come in here, just think, this is for me, man. I fucking deserve it. I work hard. I earned it. Think about it in those terms, right? And then a little something that will help you think about the 20% income. And this is all I got the rest of the day. You want to buy a pair of Jordans? Think about how many hours you need to work to buy those Jordans, right? 250 bucks, how, many, how much do you make per hour? 10, 20, whatever. But you literally would be willing to work six hours for a pair of Jordans, but you won't give yourself an hour and a half of undivided attention and self-discovery and being awesome, all right? So manage the distance between the door and the door and then start investing in yourself. You'll fucking go far like that, man, believe me. You guys got it? Yeah. I fucking love you guys. Oh, I signed the lease. Uh, I did the notary. Listen, I cannot believe after all these years they made me personally guarantee the lease. I was the guarantor. I signed a five-year lease at a big amount of money. Uh, it's very expensive. So we're gonna need you guys in here. We need you guys to be here. I need you to help me grow it. We're kicking off our legacy program. Amanda has all the details. Tyler's about there. Here it is, I'm gonna tell you now, I'm gonna put it on the interwebs. Legacy program. In your lifetime of training with me, if you bring in 10 students and they last for three months, you train for free forever, no matter what. Free memberships. Tyler, how many people have you brought in since we started? Seven. Seven, but he's brought in 20 since we started. I mean, he would have been free, but we just started it in January. He's already brought in seven people. As soon as they mature, then once you hit 10, then it's 50 bucks a person you bring in. Every person you bring in is 50 bucks. Before all of that, you bring one, you get one free. So you bring in a student, they sign up, credit card, full bow, I don't have to sell them, you have to sell them. You get the membership for free, for, for that month for free, the following month, right? So if you bring them in now, you'll get them next month for free. Um, and then that person still counts for your lifetime membership for free. It's a fucking good deal. I'm hoping you never leave us. I'm hoping you get 10, and then Sabrina gets 10, and then we start paying you guys 100 bucks a month because you bring in one each. Dude, that's amazing. And uh, fucking, so we're gonna need you, but we're gonna have showers, so we're gonna be able to wash off the coronavirus, um, staff, fucking herpes, all that shit. We get rid of it all, we're gonna have everything. I fucking love you guys so much, man. See you guys later, let's get after it. Tomorrow when we come in, we're gonna leave all that shit goodbye. One, two. Shake hands, don't be dicks. Everybody go that way. And then you Thank stay you. behind me. No Thank you. you want that corona? <laughs> I'll take Modelo virus. I don't like corona. Thank you, Tyler. You're my favorite student. Tyler's the best. He's way better than all you guys. Fuck yeah, I am. No, the other Tyler. There is no other Tyler.